If you don't have Tannis armor in your tire, what are you doing? Today, we're gonna be putting this insert in this tire. This is what we need for the job. We're gonna start by removing the valve core, break the bead, take your tire lever around the rim, and then remove the tire. You technically don't have to remove the tire completely. I just wanted to clean it up. Look at that awesome new red valve stem breaking out the Tannis armor. Aw, oh, it's a heart. Install that first bead. Always install the Tannis armor valve stem first and work it around the rim, getting that first lip in there. Once the first lip is installed, start working on that second one, get it tucked in, give it a quick peek, make sure there isn't any Tannis armor sticking out and start folding that final bead over. I had to use some tire levers to get the last little bit, but we got it. After I set the bead on the rim, I ended up filling this up with four ounces of sealant. Put that valve core back in, fill it up, and we're going to shake that thing around. Reinstall the wheel, slap a sticker on it, and call it done. This is a one-minute tutorial on how to install Tannis Armor.